guys, welcome back to Liver Review. I hope you're doing very, very nice and presenting a lot of hugs and positivity to all of you. Oh my God, I'm so excited to film this video. I'm so excited to film this video. I am literally sweating in winters. Um, all right, today's video is my bookshelf tour, but I am going to show you each and every book on my bookshelf. It is a much requested video on YouTube and on Instagram. Everybody wants to see what books I have. And because I am on a book buying ban till February 8th, I thought of showing you my entire bookshelf. This is going to be a long ass video. I am sorry, but I am really trying my best to make it short. Look how fast I'm speaking. I'm trying to make it short, but it'll still be long because of how many books I have. Let's begin with each and every book that I own. The first book is A Horse Walks Into a Bar by David Grossman. I got this book after a long long time from a bookstore from crosswords and i got it because the cover is so so cool and i read the blurb the next book is the fisherman by chigozi obioma i hope that's how you say it i got this again along with the previous book from a bookstore i don't usually buy books from bookstores when i got this i was really happy i really like the entire experience of going into a bookstore and getting books but unfortunately, it's very expensive. So I don't usually do it, but I did it after a very long time. The next book is A Birthday Girl by Murakami. Not A Birthday Girl by Murakami. This is a very thin book. I got it from the Flipkart sale. The next book is a review copy. It is Music to Flame Lilies by Megha Rao. Now, yeah, it's a review copy. It is beautiful. It is dark. It is about magical realism. The next book is The Liar's Weave by Tashin Mehta. Again, got this majorly because of the cover but also the blurb of uh, the description i read on flipkart got it from the flipkart sale i'm super excited to read it next we have on shanthe by geeta trellis i hope that's how you say your, they, the name it looks a little old because the delivery was like they delivered this book and i could not return it because i'm lazy and i forgot to return it basically the next book is a life of adventure and delight by akhil sharma again got it from the flipkart sale majorly because it is very different from what i generally read it's a very fun story uh, i usually read too much of like deep stuff meaningful stuff and all those kind of things but this is really funny and uh, yeah it's notorious and the uh, cover is gorgeous so i got it next up we have this mortal coil by emily suwara suwara i hope that's how you say it i don't i'm going to take a lot of wrong 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 names in this video please bear with me majorly got it for the cover and also because my friend like she's a bookstagrammer i'll leave the link to her youtube channel also in the description nika she is very very good with books and she suggested she got it for herself she suggested this book so i got it next up we have falling into place by amy zhang this again is a very dark story when i read the blurb from that i could tell the next book is 1984 by george orwell it is a classic that is the only reason i got it and i've heard so much about it next up we have the 14th letter by by Claire Evans. Uh, the description on Flipkart, I got it during the Flipkart sale, was so interesting. So we have Peace Has Come by Parishmata Singh. This is a collection of short stories. One the like the cover is gorgeous it's a hard cover and i have heard a lot about it and i got it from the flipkart sale uh, uh, the wives by lauren wise ways burger burger uh, i'm so bad with this but okay again it's a very fun story and it is by the author who has written the devil of prada devil wears prada and uh, i really liked that so i thought of getting this too next up we have the house that spoke by zuni chopra the cover is gorgeous got it from the flipkart sale it was very very cheap and look at how the cover is <gasps> that's what happened next up we have uh, small acts of freedom by gurmeher kaur uh, i've heard a lot about this book this author is so so famous for her books and i couldn't resist myself during the flipkart sale next up we have dante's inferno oh my god so i watched uh, lucifer on netflix and i i got like so interested in lucifer and i always wanted to read this book and also look at this gorgeous cover just look at the gorgeous cover oh my god it's all engraved oh my god i'm gonna cry it's so good next up i have you can't go home again by sarvat hassan uh, again i got it on the recommendation of nika like 
it's not like she reviewed it or something but she got it so even i got it and it's hardcover and it's gorgeous and i like the description so i got it from the flipkart sale next up is daniel Steele's the right time i want it as a giveaway again <laughs> Nika was holding a giveaway on Instagram and I won! Next up we have Esperanza by Tommy Tutalo. This was a review copy sent to me. Uh, I loved this book so much. Also it has like he, the author signed it. Another thick book that I have is uh, it is Murakami's Killing Commandator. Com Commandator. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got it again. The same reason. All my Murakami books, first of all, I don't think I have more than this, but all my Murakami books, I got them because I wanted to experiment with Murakami and I've not read Murakami before. And this is probably his thickest book and I love thick books and it's a hardcover. So I got it. Next up, we have A Black Fox Running by Brian Carter. I have zero, zero reasons to buy this book except that it's gorgeous extremely gorgeous and it's a hardcover and i'm scared to read it because i feel like you know the cover is so beautiful what if the book disappoints me i will die next we have the nine chambered hard by janice period i love this book so so much it is so so different so i got it i got it long long time back when i started with liberal review now we have john grisham's the partner i got this book from like there's this Instagram account that send uh, books to you and you will not know what book it is. They will just send it and it's like a blind date with a book. So I got it from there. Next up we have Dan Brown's Angels and Demons. This is not actually mine but my brother gifted it to me. Next we have The Lines We Cross by, I forgot the name, Randa Abdel Fattah. I think that's how you say it. Uh, my mom threw the jacket of this book. It's a hurtful story but yeah. I got it from the Flipkart sale. Next up we have Ruined by Paula Morris. This is, I got this book when I was in ninth standard only and only because again, it's a dark book. It's about a ghost and I love the cover so much and it is torn, but I still love it so much. I'm never ever going to, you know, keep it away from me. Next up I have Asura by Anand Neel Kanten. I got this book from a library. Next up I have The Winter of the Witch by Catherine Arden. This is one of the most stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. There was this flip card sale. Uh, it was not like in the book hauls that I've already done. And on that day, I thought of buying this book because it's gorgeous and it's hardcover. And also because I read in the description that if I like uh, the Night Circus, then I will love this book. Not only for myself, but I also sent it to my best friend Jane. Like we sent books to each other, <laughs> friendship goals, whatever. Um, later on, I came to know this is the third part of it, <laughs> of a trilogy. So I just have the third part. I don't have the first, second, two parts. Next up, we have Into the Water by Paula Hawkins, one of the most <laughs> favorite books I have in my bookshelf. It is dark. It is thrilling. It has a lot of narratives. It is confusing. I love confusing books. It is thick. And it is one of the uh, first fiction books I read when I started with liberal review. Last but not the least, I have a Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marilyn James. Uh, again, I got it because it is thick. It is super duper famous. People talk a lot about this book. Now I'm going to show all the books that I have by Kavita Kane, uh, except Ahalya's Awakening, which is this. This I was sent like the publisher sent it to me and I love this book so much. I have Karna's Wife by Kavita Kane. I have Fisher, Fisher Queen's Dynasty by Kavita Kane. I have Sita's Sister by Kavita Kane. I have Menaka's Choice by Kavita Kane. Oh my God, this is so tough to handle at one time. And I have Lanka's Prisoner princess by kavita kane next up i have all the three books from the ram chandra series by amish tripathi then we have the only book i have by jeffrey archer again jeffrey archer is an extremely famous author he's a best-selling author but i've not read any book by him it is heads you win again by jeffrey archer got it from the Flipkart sale. Then we have The Palace of Illusions by Chitra Banerjee Deva Karuni. And we have The Forest of Enchantments by Chitra Banerjee Deva Karuni. Don't need to talk about these books. There's a retelling of uh, Mahabharata and Ramayana. And I'm in love with both of them again because they're women-centric 
Um, love, love, love them. Next, we have Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. It is on my TBR this year and I loved Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert so, so much. I want to read this book this year. Next, we have The Boy in Striped Pajamas. This also has a movie, by the way, by John Boyan. I got this uh, from the Flipkart sale again and I got it because it's extremely famous and it is very very meaningful i also read the blurb i read the description it is an amazingly meaningful book so before i watch the movie i am going to read this next up we have the night circus by erin morton stern uh, my friend again jane she sent it to me i love this book so much as with other these we have great expectations by charles dickens uh, wanted to read uh, you know classics again just like 1984 and I thought, you know, I neglected him so much in school. <laughs> I think I should start reading him now. Next, we have Lolita by one name that I can never take in my life. Um, Vladimir Nabokov. Okay, I took it. Uh, got this book because of the gorgeous cover, because of how famous it is, because a lot of people have requested for a review of this book and also because it's a controversial book. I love controversy. We have The Fifth to Die by J.D. Barker. Got this book again from the Flipkart sale because it was cheap, because it's gorgeous, because it's dark, because it's a mystery book and it's thick. Next up, we have Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. I got this book as, a, it's again, it's not mine, actually, it's my brother's. I got this book as a gift. Then we have The Murder on the Orient Express by Christie, Agasta Christie. Again, it is a movie. I have heard so much about it. It is gorgeous. It was cheap during the Flipkart sale. It is a best-selling book. There is no reason for me to not buy it. And next up, we have Looking for Alaska by John Green. Again, it's my brother's. He gifted it to me. And he's like this big fan of John Green. He told me I should read it. So yeah. Then we have The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. Again, best-selling, flip card sale, discount, dark, thrilling. Love it. And it's thick. So next, we have all the books by Paulo Coelho. But this is Desire by Paulo Coelho. The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Uh, this is what? 11 Minutes by Paulo Coelho. Manual of Warrior Light by Paulo Coelho. And it has a book behind it. Oh, this is not by Paulo Coelho. This is Wigs on the Green by Nancy Mitford. Yeah, I got this from um, Ahmedabad Book Fair last year. And then last but not the least, it's Hippie by Paulo Coelho. Next up, I have all the books by Khaled Hosseini. I think one is left, but yeah, it is uh, The Kai Turner by Khaled Hosseini. Then I have A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Hosseini and The Mountains Echoed by Khaled Hosseini. Then I have these two books by Angie Thomas. One is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas and The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Both of these books are best selling. I, I'm not sure about the On the Come Up, but um, it is by a best selling author. So I got both of them and I got from the Flipkart sale and then I have Origin by Dan Brown. Again, got it because I wanted to read more of Dan Brown. Then we have both two books by Arundhati Roy. It is The God of Small Things by Arundhati Roy. Got this during the Flipkart sale. And it is The Ministry of Utmost Happiness, which I have read only halfway through because it is so mind consuming. Uh, I got this from, I think like, you know, those people on the footpath, they sell books. So I got it from there. Alrighty, congratulations to us. We have reached the non-fiction section. I have Yes Please by Amy Poiler. I have still not Googled her name. I am so bad at this, but anyways. Then we have Please Let Me Go by Caitlin Spencer with Linda Watson Brown. Again, got it from the Flipkart sale. It is about this girl um, and it's about like sexual harassment and I really wanted to read about it. Then. I have a good girl, the good girl's guide to being not nicer, not calmer, not more patient. Uh, then I have one of my favorite non-fiction book, books on earth, <laughs> a new earth <laughs> by Eckhart Tolle, Tolle, Toll, whatever you say it. Then we have You Do You by Sarah Knight, got it as a review copy from the publishers. Then we have Ellen the Generous's Seriously, I'm kidding, bro. Got it as a gift from my friend Himalaya. And we have Girl, Wash Your Face. I've also read Girl, Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis. Got it from the Flipkart sale. Then we have How to Be a Bows by Lily Singh. Next up, we have the classic Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyoski. How Much Brain Do We Have? This book I got from the Flipkart sale and I still have to read it, but I'm so interested in this book. It's by Alexis Willett. 
PhD and um, Jennifer Barnett and we have of course Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert I love 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 this book so oh shit love 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 this book so so much shit next up we have brief answers to the big questions by Stephen Hawking wanted to explore the scientific world then we have Make Humph by Adolf Hitler I got this book this is I think the first book I ever bought in my life I got this book in 9th standard I still haven't read it I have started to read it at least like 20 times but I never go beyond 56 pages. There's like this jinx to this book but I hope to finish it someday. Then we have Same But Different by this entire Pete family. It is about autism and I really wanted to increase my knowledge in that. Again, just to increase my knowledge and I got it from the Flipkart sale, we have An Ordinary Man's Guide to Radicalism by Niaz Farooqi and we have Reporting Pakistan by Meena Menon. Next up, we have Notes on a Nervous Planet by, Planet's name, Planet by Matt Haig, one of the most favorite books I have in my life. Oh my God, I love it so much. Love this book so, so much. Then we have uh, The Lean Startup by Eric Rice and Reyes. <coughs> Sorry, and the only negotiating guide you'll ever need by Peter B. Stark and Jane Flaherty. Um, I got this book from the Ahmedabad Book Fair. Got this book from an account on Instagram, and I got this book at its original price because of a recommendation by one of my favorite authors. All right, the next books are probably like almost all are philosophical or spiritual. So we have The Art of Losing Control by Julia Evans. Evans. Then we have The Musk, then we have The Musk Syndrome by Ruzbe Barucha. Barucha, right? Yeah. This again is a beautiful book. Uh, we have I Am, I Am, I Am 17 Brushes with Death. It is a non-fiction book. Oh my God, I'm so excited to read this. Got from the Flipkart sale is by Maggie O'Farrell. And we have this, I got it from the Ahmedabad uh, Book Fair. It is Death is Not the Answer by Dr. Anjali Chabaria. Then we have The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra, one of the like best books I've like ever read. We have As You Think by James Allen. Again, these like small books, I don't know why they're like so awesome. Uh, then we have What on Earth Am I Here for, for? Got it from the Ahmedabad Book Fair. It is by, 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 by Rick Warren. And then we have The Myth of Sisyphus by Albert Camus. This book was a gift to me by my friend Himalaya. It is so, so mind-boggling. Oh my God. Next up, we have The 4-Hour Work Week by Timothy Ferris. Uh, again, I got it from the Ahmedabad Book Fair. I, I buy a lot of books from like book fairs and Flipkart so that, because I get like cheaper books at that time. We have Atomic Habits by James Clear. We have Letting Go, again, this was a gift to me. By my friend Himalaya by David R. Hawkins. And then we have The Parents of Desires. It is edited by Amrita Narayanan. Uh, I got this book again because I wanted to increase my knowledge about the Indian erotica. Indian, yeah, Indian erotica. Erotica. I don't know what's wrong with you. I'm just excited, okay? Just bear with me. Then we have 21 Lessons of the 21st Century by Harare. Uh, got this book long, long back and I've still not read it. I have Retired Rich by P.V. Supramaniam. This was a gift to me by my bookstagram, my friend Kavita. Oh my God, I love her so much. She's so sweet. Uh, then we have Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk. Right Chuck. Uh, got this from the Flipkart sale. Got it for a cheaper price. Obviously want to learn about more about social media and everything. So got this one. Then we have The Four by Scott Galway. This book was, uh, buh, 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 it was my brother's. I took it from him. <laughs> he gifted it to me. I took it from him. Shut up. <laughs> he gifted it to me. Then we have Hit Refresh by Satya Nadella. Now this is again an autobiography. I think, yeah, it's an autobiography and I got it from the Flipkart sale. Honestly, I'm a little tired now, but <laughs> we have Power by Robert Greene, The Decision Book by Mikhail Krogeris and Roman Skepele, The Change Book by Mikhail Krogeris and Roman Skepele, Everything is Fucked by Mark Manson, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson, The 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma, How to Stay Alive by Bear Grylls. Inheritors of the Earth got this because I, again I want to increase my knowledge. Got it from the Flipkart sale. It is by 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 Chris D. Thomas. Then we have Becoming by Michelle Obama. Ah, 
I love that book so so much. We have Gene Machine. Again, got it to increase my knowledge. It is by Venki Ramakrishnan. Then we have the hard things about hard things. It's a hard cover and I got it for 80 rupees. This is one of my accomplishments. I got it from the Flipkart sale. Um, it is by Ben Horowitz. And then we have two books by Devdat Patanayak. It is Shyam and Jaya. Next up, we have the classics. Road to Success by Napoleon Hill. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. The 8020 Principle. This is one of the greatest principles. One of the greatest books I've ever read by Richard Koch. The Seven Habits of How Effective People by Stephen Covey. This is again one of the best books I've ever read in my life. The Ultimate Gift by Jim Stovall. Mm -hmm. Last but not the least, Who Says You Can't You Do by Daniel Chidiak. More books that I love, love, love so, so much. We have Fluid by Ashish Jaiswal. Finish Everything You Start, got it as a review copy. That also has a review copy by Jan Yeager. Attitude is, Attitude is Everything by Jeff Kelly. Miracle Morning, oh, what a book by Hal Errol. Period by Emma Barnett. This is the proof copy. I also have the published copy. You Are a Bad Ass by Jen Sincerio. The Storyteller's a Secret by Chris Anderson. No, 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 no. It's all by Chris Anderson. It's by Cameron, Carmen Gallo. It is one of the best books you can read for public speaking. Bahane Banana Chordo by Brian Tracy. This is the Hindi version of No Excuses by Brian Tracy. But it was so, so expensive. I was like, I'm going to get the Hindi version. This was only 400 rupees. Crush It by Gary Vaynerchuk. And we have Get Momentum. I got this book just like, just like out of nowhere. Uh, I don't know the author, it's just like experimenting, but I love the book so much. Then we have Believe and Beyond by Mukunda Rao, and we have Happy Guide by Michael Kinneard. Uh, both these books were sent to me, like this was sent to me by the publisher, this was sent to me by the author. Then we have Where Will Man Take Us, sent to me by the author by Atul Jalan, and we have The Holy Shit Moment by, by, by James Fell. Got this from the Flipkart sale, this from the author. Love this book. Don't know. I mean, this is like a 50-50. All Marketers Tell Stories. It's a book on marketing by Seth Godin. Again, got with the other three books from Crossword. Albert Einstein. It is... I just wanted to read about Albert Einstein, so I got it. The Crisis Within by G.N. Tenby. Then we have Karma and Reincarnation by... I forgot the author's name. Elizabeth Clare Prophet and Patricia... Spedaro. Uh, see, this is a spiritual book. This, again, I have like 50-50 thoughts about this. But if you really want to read about reincarnation, if you believe in it, then it's a good book. Earliest books, one of my favorite books, which is Where There Is Light by Paramahansa Yogananda. Love this book so much. It has small excerpts that you can read every single morning. I read it almost every single morning and it gives me like this positive start to the day. We have Ikigai by Francis Mirel and Hector Garcia. Lost Loves by Arshia Sattar. Siddhartha by Herman Hesse. I just hope how you say that name. The Power of Habit. Oh, such a good book by Charles Duhigg. This I got as a like uh, uh, Christmas gift from my Secret Santa on Christmas from Instagram. Catalyst by Chand Chandramoli Venkatesan. Uh, got this again from an account on Instagram and then we have Fast Cheap and Viral got it as a review copy from the publishers by Ashish Chopra. The Quick and Easy Way to Effective Speaking by Dale Carnegie. On Writing Well by William Zinsser. Then we have The Eight Traits of uh, the Eight Traits Successful People Have in Common by Richard St. John. And then we have one of the greatest books of all times sent to me by the publishers. Uh, what was the name? <laughs> Lionel Messi and the Art of Living by Amy West. Andy West. Andy West. Andy West. Wow, I'm like putting effects without putting effects, without editing. I'm just trying to keep myself entertained, you guys. Please bear with me. Next, we have How to Write a Book and Market It, a bestseller by Radha Krishnan Pillai, the only book I have that by that author, but I want more books by him. And then we have Body, Intimacy and Sex by Acharya Prashant. Got this book again because I wanted to increase my knowledge, but I did not get a lot of knowledge from that book. All right, guys, just the last few books left. Please bear with me. It is Tim Harford's Messy. I am Tamanna by Tamanna Chona with Aditi Mehrothra. I got it from the publishers. I love this book so much. Buddhism for Busy People by David David Michi. 50-50 about this book. Got it from the 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 Amdabad book fair. 
of the clock bellora vander come uh, got it from the flipkart sale again 50 50 how to be human by ruby wax got it from the flipkart sale again 50 50 about this the autobiography of benjamin franklin uh, i got this book again just to increase my knowledge want to read more of autobiographies another book by devdat patnayak uh, yoga mythology then i have the life of muhammad uh, somebody gifted this book to me it is by Hadrat Mirza Bashir Uddin Muhammad Ahmed The Art of Public Speaking again by Dale Carnegie I want to be a public speaker so I have a lot of books related to public speaking Then we have Hindutva by Jyotir Maya Sharma um uh, again increasing my knowledge increasing my knowledge increasing my knowledge psychic perception by dr joseph murphy i do not like this book at all i don't like this book at all poignant song by bye bye kavita das got it from the publishers it's an autobiography of a singer slash dancer and i love it so much money and the law of attraction by esther and jerry hicks uh there has been a wife Again it is one of the earliest books I've read on law of attraction and I feel like this is one of the best books I've read read on law of attraction. We have The Giver by Lewis Lowry. I love this book. Then we have Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. If I start talking about this book I will start crying. Period the uh, published copy by Emma Barnett. The Discomfort Zone again 50/50 about this book it is by 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 Farrah Storr last three books you guys it doesn't have to be crazy at work by Jason Fried and David can you see it uh David Hansen love this book so so much i got it because the cover is really good really good but apart from that i really like this book i like i'm happy i bought this book So lucky by Don O Porter I still have to read this book I got it from the publishers and last but not the least from any angle we have that will never work by Mark Randolph again got it from the publishers still have to read it but I've read a few pages and I really like it so you guys right now the review copies that I get from different authors is still left but it is like a lot of review copies and I can I think I should make like a whole new video on it because they are not the books I bought uh you know so yeah they're like i'll start reviewing them on the camera so do comment down below and let me know if you want me to cover that section too then i can make a separate video for it and this was my bookshelf tour i hope you did not get bored i hope i was not acting too crazy and i hope you like the video if you did please make sure you're subscribing and sharing liberal review with all uh the people in like your friends and your family because i really need your support and that is it i will see you guys on thursday and on sunday with the second weekly vlog for my self care till then you guys take care and i love you all so so much bye